morning YouTube. I hope you guys are well. Just about to hop on a bike ride. It's a 90 minute bike ride with 15 times three minutes. Eight out of 10 effort for me. Low cadence, 50 to 55. One minute rest in between to get the heart rate down. Super easy watts. It's the first session now that we're going a little bit hard after it. Then I have a 10 minute run off the bike. Super easy jogging just to get some time on the legs. And then later we have a 4K swim, 40 times 100 and in the end a little bit harder. That's a Friday. We go on to the indoor track run. There I'm gonna take you with as well. They have some quicker, quicker stuff on tired legs and then in the afternoon a 5K swim and that's a good double wombo. And on the Sunday we have two times two hour bike ride. Uh, I don't know what's in the plan that yet, but uh, four hours riding and that's a good training weekend ahead for me. Then I gotta get my nutrition ready here. Yeah, normally I always use Martin for, for racing, but for training it's pretty expensive when you're not sponsored. So I just have some simple carb stuff uh, that I can absorb. Here's some hypertonic stuff, simple stuff from the supermarket. But yeah, the quality is all right. It works for training. I'm gonna just have a simple bottle. This is just water. So the not ride is 90 minutes, just uh, with my sweat rate and stuff. So I'm gonna have one and a half liters of water. That should cover it. This is just water. And in this one here, I'm gonna mix 80 grams of carbs, which I'm gonna start zipping from the 10 minute mark on. So I got the carbs in there as well. Scoop should have 20 grams. So four of those. Should also cover the sodium loss. Seven reps done. I settled for 350 watts now, which is a good, good time for now. Uh, yeah, like I said, have a hard run tomorrow. It's a fine line between feeding your ego and short time satisfaction and actually training. If you have a triathlon plan and a coach, and you kind of rip into sessions, smashing it like ear grilling like that. You're not going to be able to back up tomorrow properly. So, try on training. It's about day in, day out. There's the one hero session. It's building blocks, making quality. Also, with this, I focus on my pelvis, being stable, and having good, good quality power. Then I get back to work. Last rep. Last five, I do at 360, feeling good. So, let's go. Last three minutes.
feels so good to be training quality again and pushing your body in a healthy, good way. It helps training and yeah, I think we often get tangled up in all those metrics and numbers and comparison easily. That's something I've been really good at and have to keep being very good at. To only focus on myself, my journey, my numbers, appreciate them because once you through health, if you have health issues for example or you get an injury or something you wish back those numbers you had right now you might be right now thinking oh well, only I only have this FTP I can only swim this per hundred well if you break your leg tomorrow or you get a sickness or whatever I'm pretty sure you wish you could do that again so gratitude is a powerful tool and uh, yeah what I want to say just loving it to be back back doing what I love most which is training and being outside and getting after my dreams that felt great just 10 minutes super easy jogging and focusing on cadence and just my stride guys I hope you're well it's Saturday morning now you're just heading to the track it's like a five minute metro ride from my place it's really cool super easy to get there and that's the indoor track I've been once before there in the winter time I do my speed work because outside uh, yeah if you slip on a track and stuff it's just not not optimal so I'm going there I look forward to showing you and to tell you what we're gonna do today So we are in the indoor track. Uh, unfortunately, there's a 24 hour run going on. It starts in 10 minutes. So the main track, as you can see, that's going around all the way, it's 400 meters. Luckily for me, there's also a gym here where I'll do my 20 minute warm up first on the treadmill. And then I'll go downstairs where we're gonna do, it's not ideal, it's not a full loop, but it's still a track. It's like going almost all the way, or say like 380 meters. And then I'll just turn around and go back. There I'll do my speed work. Today we're doing a Monaghetti set, that's a bit of speed work, it's like a variation of 15, 30, 45 seconds up and down, a bit of speed work. Um, last week I had 24 times 200 as an introduction to speed, it was really meant to be controlled and I really started a bit too fast, I did like, although it was controlled, I did like 30 sec 37 seconds to start with for the 200s, then I settled for 40 seconds, so like 320 pace, really trying to control it. But I had like new shoes and I haven't been on a track in a good while and I got super sore from it on the cast like for three days. So uh, really just, it's all about consistency and slowly getting into it uh, after not having yeah, been running for a while and stuff because of the sickness. But uh, building back into it, now it should already be better after last week. So uh, look forward to it, nothing crazy, some speed work, some new stimulus and uh, taking over. So nutrition-wise today, we're gonna have uh, first, just yeah, just 30 grams before, uh, 30 grams of carbs. I have some gel here, no caffeine, but it has uh, 60 grams of carbs. I'm gonna have 30 of that now. And then actually in the afternoon, I have a 5K swim with a bit of quality. They have another 30 grams of that. Uh, that's all I have today with nutrition like that. Otherwise, just water and uh, running. <laughs> Hips and glutes got really stiff, I could tell. I had yesterday, like you guys know, the, the bike ride with the strength and the 15 times three minutes. When you run fast, I really try to make sure that my hips are really open up, especially quads and the whole hip, low back region is really free and everything is warmed up before, so I don't have any 
have a clean run stride and don't overload any regions more than after. Session done, that was so much easier than last time. So last time, the first speed session last week, I was like super out of breath. I could barely control my core because I was breathing so hard and just like kind of like getting through it. And uh, now this time already the body, it's crazy how little stimulus sometimes is needed to get the body back. And uh, it was like 50% less cardio effort, way more fluent, could control the core, like really tuck in the, the pelvis. That's, that's something I feel is really good when you run fast, especially when you run the corner. And uh, yeah, now the usual uh, protein shake right after, so the muscles recover some carbs. I'm checking out for this week. I hope you guys are well and your training is going well. And I see you next week. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can really help me out if you like and subscribe, push your notification bell, comment below what you want to see next, and I see you in the next video.